Greetings and salutations, everyone. Uh, so I wanted to just record this video to, to kind of share uh, some insight that I gained um, via the YouTubes and, and just kind of tinkering myself. The, uh, the point of this is getting this gimbal to work with my Phantom. And out of the box, and, and by the way, I, I got this on, on eBay. Um, it, uh, for like, you know, 80 bucks, cheap, uh, and it works, made in China, definitely, there's no instructions whatsoever, hence, um, me sharing this with you folks. So, out of the box, I, I was able to get it to, uh, you know, stabilize, fine and dandy, um, but the, the, the one thing that I couldn't do was adjust the tilt. Now, in order to do that, there was a few things that I needed to do. One, on this guy, I had to, it didn't come with this lever, so I had to purchase said lever. Um, actually, from Europe, uh, a, a gentleman on, on YouTube uh, pointed me towards this, and uh, it works. It's uh, pretty easy to install. So, um, that was the first thing I needed to do. The second thing that I needed to do was uh, take this apart, which I've never done before, so it was a little daunting, but it was it was pretty simple. Uh, just a, you know, like a set of screws, uh, which I have to re-screw after this, but anyways. Um, and and this this particular flavor of gimbal came with uh, where's that this cable right here, which actually uh, there were four pins. Let's see if you can see that if it'll focus. There were there were four pins, and I just uh, took one because with with this uh, particular scenario, we only need the one cord, and which goes into the bottom slot there, if you can see, of the F2. And that goes through that hole there, and have it going down into our six connectors. And I've plugged it into the top left connector. After I got that plugged up, then I went into the NASA software. I enabled the gimbal setting, gimbal switch, uh, turned that on, and um, well, the other thing that I, I did before that even was I went into basic. Let's see, is it? Yeah, um, X1 calibration. Uh, you've got to do that first because that calibrates the the lever. To, uh, to do its thing. So af after the on-screen instructions on, on calibrating that X1 control, which again is, is your uh, lever, lever control, um, then you've, you've got that ready to go. And then you go in advanced, turn on gimbal switch, and you actually, to, uh, to keep the uh, gimbal when you're pitching, to keep it uh, uh, from continually pitching, I guess you could say, Turn, uh, you switch from uh, normal to reverse on on the pitch. And I made some other changes, uh, slowed down the pitch speed so that it's a little smoother. And this was default uh, 1,000 and negative 1,000. And what that essentially does is it rotates the gimbal 180 degrees and there's no need for that so um, 50 that, that puts it right about center and then a negative 750 uh, it's basically looking straight down so um, with those settings and those connections I'm able to get it to pitch. Huzzah! So to connect the power to the gimbal, I 
found this, or I sought out and acquired this <laughs> this red and gray cord that is uh, soldered to the motherboard of the Phantom. And then I cut the ends off, uh, revealing the copper wire underneath. Split those. And I connected those red to red and then in this case it'd be um, gray to well brown but that's just arbitrary color um, to a cable that came with my gimbal this is the other half to that I cut it in half and then split them so that I was able to then splice them together I've got that running down to the two posts that go into the power for the for the gimbal You've got the red going to red and then in this case the brown going to the black um, of course you'll be you'll want to however you do it you'll want to send that gray to the black so this is how I've got it and um, and so I've got power to the gimbal and I'm able to uh, tilt it also so it's a uh, little fella's working, and uh, all I have to do now is just piece it back together, and uh, then we'll give it a test flight.